not in a minute, not in a minute, but now, the time is now. When is it gonna start? In a minute, not the word, soon isn't even the word. What's the word? I'm looking for the word is imminently. Very soon, don't worry, I'm not worried about starting. I'm really excited, although there's not really time to go and get a drink. Please don't go and get a drink, because the people who did that yesterday really ruined the show, because they came in five minutes too late. Let's be. Like the way I write songs is either something, just a line that you hear or a character inspires you to write a song. Um, or quite often if you've got a piece of stand-up um, and you want a song to sort of go with it, then sometimes it's just like you sit down and you're like, right, I'm going to write a song about having children, bash it out kind of thing. Um, in terms of the show, there were songs that I knew I wanted to put in it because they're my favourites. And so I tried to create a narrative to pull it all together. And I found quite a good narrative, which is about me being a, a songwriter and having to write all these songs for other people. And then there's a bit of a love story in there as well. Actually, that night was the start of something really beautiful, really beautiful and quite stable. So <laughs> three months in rehab. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was a joke. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not rich enough to go to rehab. <laughs> no, I just stopped drinking. <laughs> No, I stopped, I stopped drinking vodka. <laughs> when alone. I think when I started doing comedy, I, the, I had a more messed up character, um, and I think I latched onto that because I was genuinely extremely nervous. Um, whereas now, I think I feel a bit more confident about it. I think after this, I'm going to lay that character. I think it is a character. It's quite a, I don't anyone who's seen the show would know, it's quite a sort of messed up, kind of drug-addled, um, nervous character that I play. I think after this Edinburgh, I'm going to lay that to rest because I don't really rely on it anymore. In case you hadn't noticed, this is a cheery little number to lift the mood. <laughs> I'd done different jobs in music, like I'd been a singer, I'd been a songwriter, I'd been a piano player, that's all true. and. It was only when I started doing comedy that things kicked off. Like, you know, people booked me for gigs. I got an agent. I got sort of like reviews and like, um, and I, lo I loved doing it as well. So I, basically because comedy was the first thing that invited me <laughs> and said, yes, you can do this. You should keep doing it. Um, so I just, I just go with what's, what's successful, I guess. So I've got one ready to go. Is anyone here a fan of the blues? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, you'll definitely like this thing because it's incredibly authentic. And I'm feeling kind of blue. I've been crying, I've been crying all of you. Little sip of something, sip of something strong. I go into the kitchen for some laps and so strong, laps and so strong. The, the laughter, the, in, the instantness. Instantness? Um, yeah, the, the fact that you get this instant reaction from people is so lovely. Like after, I used to do, well, I sound like a twat, but like I used to do like classical piano concerts and things, and you're, you're running high on like adrenaline all the way through it and getting absolutely nothing you don't know how you're doing you don't know how people are feeling and all you get at the end is sort of polite nods and everything this is great because people are like you know straight away that's the up and the down of it the up is you know if they've liked it the down is you know if they haven't liked it <laughs>